crafting that custom dashboard in Sensecraft HMI and pushing the UI wirelessly to this sleek monochrome display. Pulling in live YouTube subscriber counts, real-time local temp and humidity, plus a ticking date, all without writing a single line of code. It's pure drag and drop wizardry on an e-paper screen that sips battery for three months straight. If you're a maker, content creator or desk setup wizard, this is your vibe. Let's dive in and build. If you missed part one, we unboxed this e-paper beast from Siege Studio, tore it down to geek out on the ESP32 guts and antenna smarts, set it up with Sensecraft HMI and turned it into a killer photo slideshow. Link in the cards, go binge it. Quick setup recap, your Reterminal E1001 should already be powered on, connected to Wi-Fi and paired with Sensecraft using that pairing code from the previous episode. If you missed it, the full part 1 video is linked in the description and cards above. We are now inside the Sensecraft workspace, your one-stop command center for all the HMI magic. There's your device listed, battery at 78%. Room temp reading 29.3 degrees Celsius, humidity at 69.5%. Right now it's chilling in sleep mode to save power, but it automatically comes online and reads data based on the time interval we set, grabbing fresh sensor values, updating the display and drifting back to deep sleep like a total pro. Perfect, everything's ready. Let's jump straight into building that dashboard. First, here's the canvas tab. This is where the real magic happens. Hundreds of drag and drop widgets, icons, data visualizations and ready-made templates. We'll come back here in a second. Next to it is the web tab. This lets you display literally any web page directly on the e-paper. For fun, let's pull up our own channel website, Electronics Innovation. Look at that grayscale version in the preview. Deploying now. Sick. It renders our site perfectly in crisp monochrome. The contrast is insane, the text is razor sharp. And that subtle e-paper ink on paper feel makes electronics innovation look even classier than on a normal screen. This display is an absolute masterpiece. Alright, back to canvas for the real dashboard. Let's start with the YouTube channel template. Paste your YouTube data API key, grab it free from Google Cloud Console and your channel ID. Validate, boom, it instantly finds electronics innovation, 10.7k subs. Hit preview, apply to canvas. The whole template imports in one click. Now let's flex our design skills and make it truly ours. Delete the default text and add electronics innovation. Resize and reposition the YouTube logo so the channel name pops. Tweak the subscriber count size and an alignment. Change the tagline to something personal. Add total views count with clean formatting. Drop in published videos count. Add the date widget large and centered. Pull in battery percentage, temperature and humidity from the onboard sensors. Import matching icons, calendar, battery, thermometer and droplet symbols. Perfect grayscale set. Final tweaks to spacing and alignment. Everything looks balanced and premium. Hit preview. Deploy. Boom. There it is. A clean minimalist YouTube channel dashboard right on your desk. Subscriber count front and center, total views, video count, live date, battery level and real time 29.3 degrees Celsius and 69.5% humidity with beautiful icons. The e-paper contrast makes every pixel pop, the refresh is buttery smooth and it feels like a $500 executive gadget but it's under $80 and fully customized by you. This thing is addictive. I can't stop staring at it. And that's the crazy part. Every tiny detail, the metal enclosure, 
the perfectly routed antenna through that plastic slot, the expansion header, the flawless PCB layout was designed by real engineers who somehow make all of this look effortless. So how do the pros actually create hardware this clean and reliable from sketch to mass production? That's where Altium comes in. Altium is a leading provider of PCB design software which helps electronics or hardware designers like me to bring concept to production and deploy in the field. Similar to Apple, Altium has introduced a new strategy to help students like you to gain practical skills, build your expertise and develop the confidence that requires to excel in hardware design industry. By taking advantage of these opportunities, you can land in internships, scholarships and exciting career prospects with the leading names in electronics and hardware design domain. This approach allows you to tackle real world projects and challenges, sharpening your problem solving skills and preparing you for a successful career during an academic tenure. Whether you are a beginner or looking to enhance your existing skills, Altium Student Labs will guide you every step of the way. Joining the Altium Student Program is a fantastic way to enhance your skills and prepare for a career in electronics design. Plus, it's a great addition to your resume. Now for page 2, weather, open the weather template. Type your city, preview, apply to canvas. For some reason, it defaulted to New York, easy fix. Just rename the labels. Deploy again. Done. Now your re terminal shows today's weather, current conditions, date and day, plus a full 7 day forecast with icons. One click on the top button flips effortlessly between your YouTube stats page and the weather page. Zero codes, zero battery anxiety, just pure desk elegance. All of this runs on whisper quiet efficiency, sipping power for months on end. No more grabbing your phone every 5 minutes. This is the Reterminal E1001 from Seed Studio, the e-paper dynamo that's completely redefining desk accessories. That's a wrap for part 2 folks. We now have a professional looking, always updating dual page dashboard that looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. Next episode hint, we are diving into ES Home plus Home Assistant integration, adding custom sensors via the expansion header and maybe even some voice control with the built-in mic. What do you want to see next? More dashboards, stock ticker, calendar plus tasks, RFID clock in system. Drop your wild ideas in the comments, I read every single one and the craziest ones usually become videos. I'll see you in the next one. Stay innovative.